Hey guys, what's going on? Um, Jada Big Tarman here, Josh. Um, lesson coming your way today. It's just going to be a cor uh, yeah, quirk, quick, short, and sweet one. I'm going to have another one within the next one to two weeks that's better and higher quality and more thought out. But today I just thought I'd hit you a lesson with one of my favorite songs. So, you get all this garbage today with what Rihanna and Chris Brown and what's not. But I think a lot of people forget about the classics and the good music. Like, um, one of my favorite songs in the world is Soul Shine by Warren Hayes. And it is just an incredible song. And it's actually really easy to, to play, too. Um, but basically, you're going to want to capo on the third. They're really just four chords throughout the song. You get a G chord, a D chord, E minor, F. That's basically it. Um, obviously he does the little funky thing. And then, uh, he does those little riffs. You can do those if you want. If not, if you just want to, you know, play throughout with the song, that's fine too. But basically, let's get down to it. Um, you get a G chord, but I'm going to teach you how to do the little, little things to, I think it really makes the song what it is. So, you're going to... Hit the the fourth string, and I know I call them numbers. I know E A D G B E, but I learned with numbers, and these are mainly beginner videos, so I just call them from numbers. So the fourth string, the string right up here, this string right up here, um, you're gonna hit that, no fingers on it. All right, so you're just gonna hit that, and then. You're going to hammer on on the second fret. If you don't know what a hammer on is, it's just when you put your finger on it really fast. So you get that sound. Alright? Then, you're going to hit the third string. Open. Nothing. Just so. Open, hammer on, open. And that's all I like to do from the beginning. It's short, sweet, it sounds beautiful. Some tabs I looked at are like like too just too much. I think that's short, sweet to the point beautiful. Just Yeah. Alrighty, so do that. G. And um, so, after the G, um, you put your pinky on the 3rd string, 4th fret, and you go just give it a little... 1, 2, 3, 4, boom! I like to do it 4 times, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, boom! 1, 2, 4, boom! Alright, I like to hit it back and forth like this instead of just strumming it every time. Alright? So, and then you go to a D chord. Ah, fucking computer. Sorry for my language. And then, after the D chord, you hit um, the third string, second fret. And then you just, boom, four, fourth fret. Back to the second fret, open. And then you hit the E minor, F bar chord, sorry. Back to the G, and that's when you hammer on again. And that's basically um, it throughout the entire song. You can look up the lyrics yourself. Uh, I'll play a little bit of the first verse, I guess. Uh, just uh, And the strumming pattern is just kind of, you know... I like to go down, down, up, down. Just a real smooth, soulful sound. Uh, just really... Just really nice, really deep. Um, I know my guitar sounds horrible. I need to get it restringed pretty much ASAP. Before my next video, I know I need to. But... I don't have the money right now. 
Um, so, um, you get the intro. I'll just play a little bit now. When you can't find the light that guides you through a cloudy day. And then basically that's it. Um, to save you the embarrassment of my singing, uh, you basically just hit those four chords. Um, if you want to continue to do the little riffs throughout the song, like, and the, and the, all that stuff, um, uh, be my guest, work them in if you want, but um, I only like to do that in the intro and the choruses. Uh, the verses I like to just keep short and sweet, just to plain chords himself. I think it sounds really beautiful. But um, uh, play with it yourself. Uh, if you guys have any comments or concerns, I know this wasn't that great of a lesson. Um, I just really wanted to get a song out to you today because it has been forever. I apologize for the unprofessionalness, if that's even a word. And uh, the next one will be better, I promise. And I also promise it'll be out within one to two weeks. Um, and it'll be a good song. Leave in the comments uh, if you want, you know, another classic or, you know, a more modern song. I was thinking of doing Thrift Shop. That's actually one of my favorite songs right now by Macklemore. Uh, great tune. But um, comments, questions, concerns in the comments. Um, constructive criticism. I know there's a lot to be had. But, um, and to all you, I guess I'll call you pros who subscribe to me, um, if you're done with the lesson, you can just leave now. I just want to rant a little bit. Um, I know I'm not that good. I'm more of a novice intermediate player myself. Uh, in my head, I'm, I have the tagline, a beginner who teaches beginners. I mean, I know more than the straight up beginner, but I'm not the greatest guitar player in the world. And I know that. And... I just like to, you know, share my knowledge with other people. So, I know I'm not a pro, but I do what I can, and I like helping people out. And if you got a problem with that, don't watch my videos. But um, I'm glad you guys watched, and uh, I hope you have a nice day. And until next time, keep on playing. Bye, guys.